Hey, your Sentins, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Sunday, December 9th. <clears throat> this is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, I want to chip you on down here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What messages do we have for you? What do you need to know? All right. Shuffle here. Oh, bottom of the deck was a two of cups and the knight of wands. So, could be dealing with a soulmate that is a fire sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in that order. Taurus, <clears throat> you guys have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Virgo, you guys have the Two of Wands in the upright. And Capricorn, you guys have the Page of Wands in the reverse. Are you all dealing with fire signs? I do believe so. Big bottom of the deck in your shared energy is the Eight of Cups. Clarified by the lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. Holy smokes. Um, your guys' bottom of the deck. Look at this. I'm going to tip you up for just a second. Your bottom of the deck is death. Going through a major transformation right now, uh, Earth signs. Um, purging things away that you no longer need, want, or desire. You are being guided in this journey by the sun, by the universe. Um, it's time to follow your heart and do what you want. And once you do, you will be gifted by the universe with much abundance in every area of your life, allowing you to be able to be the creator, the owner, and the person that is so responsible for your destiny, what is coming in for you, co-creating with the universe, taking your place on the throne could be dealing with a fire sign um because the king of wands is in here queen of pentacles ace of cups is your next year. i could go through your whole reading just off the bottom of your deck this is amazing so all right let's see what we got going on here Okay, so you guys are um, needing to walk away from something, someone, some situation, some uh, whatever it is that is no longer serving you. You are being called to walk away, to uh, follow your heart and go into the path of your destiny. Go into the path um, that you are most spiritually revived in um, and you will find success. This person is in search of their two of cups. This person is also leaving somebody that they have emotionally invested in um, a lot. And they are just emotionally drained. They are making the choice. There is two people here. Um, and you, they are making a choice between two lovers in the time of Sagittarius with Jupiter here. Um, for some of you, you could be choosing a Sagittarius or a Gemini um, in this Sagittarius time period. You also could have Gemini or Saggy in your charts. Um, wow, yeah. The Four of Wands is clarifying the Eight of Cups. So you guys are moving out of a relationship that is emotionally draining, that you've put a lot of emo emotional investment in, and you're moving towards something that is more stable, loving, um, and I just keep hearing destined. You are choosing to leave the situation you're at and choosing to be with somebody else. More than likely a Sagittarius or a Gemini. Mostly, most likely a Sagittarius because all of you guys are dealing with fire. So, Taurus males. You guys are wanting a new beginning with somebody and they're not giving it to you. Um, it's not time yet. It's not here yet. Um, yeah, Taurus males, you guys have the emperor in reverse. So there's something you need to work on, something that you're not seeing in order to bring that emperor in the upright um, that was at the bottom of the deck. What you need to do is to move forward away from this emotional hurt, 
um, because it's making you crazy. It's making you act like not yourself. Once you move out of this emotionally draining situation and choose love that's going to make you happy, the wheel of fortune will then turn in your favor and you will get that new beginning that you are wanting with uh, more, li more than likely an Aries or a Sagittarius. Taurus females, you guys are dealing either with a Capricorn or the devil. Either way, it's a toxic relationship. Um, it needs to, you need to move forward away from this relationship. This person could be uh, dealing with an addiction problem as well. But um, this person, uh, you and this person, um, you're just, you're drained. There's nothing left there. Uh, is what you're feeling, Taurus females. Um, some of you um, are moving away out of this um, committed relationship that you're currently in to be with a Capricorn. Um, and once you make the move out of this um, committed relationship that is emotionally draining and move towards this Capricorn or um, someone with these qualities, you will get your new beginning, your Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy for you, um, Earth signs today. All right, Virgos. Um, you guys are at a crossroads. You are um, debating whether to leave or whether to stay. Um, you guys have a choice between two lovers. Uh, yeah, you are... Ooh, Okay. Uh, Virgo man, men, you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius, no doubt about it. There is uh, a crossroads that you are at. You have to choose to walk away from whoever it is that you are in a committed relationship with um, in order to find balance. Now, I don't know if you're in a committed relationship with a Sagittarius or with somebody else, but whoever it is that is emotionally draining you in this commitment, it's time to walk away from them. It's time to uh, time to make a decision at this crossroads. And in turn, it'll bring you peace. It'll bring you balance. It'll bring you healing. Um, as long as you choose the lover that um, is not the one uh, that you're in a committed with, commitment with or not the one that is draining you. There's so many different messages that are flooding me right now that it's hard to keep them straight. But um, I do see you choosing the Sagittarius Virgos. All right, Virgo females, you are at a crossroads and it is time to move away from this heartbreak. Um, this person has betrayed you. You feel like they stabbed you in the back. They lied to you. Um, it's time to move away from that. Uh, a move away from that emotionally hurtful, this deceitful energy you're at a crossroads. It's the perfect time to do it. Um, move in the direction of self-love. Choose love. Always choose love, guys. And the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor. For you Capricorns, you um, are waiting to hear for from a fire sign or you have blocked a fire sign. One of the two. Let's see. Um, thank you. All right, so um, Capricorn males, you guys uh, have blocked a fire sign due to possibly a third party or you are just wanting to concentrate on work. You um, are not wanting your relationship right now. You're emotionally drained and you are scared of a commitment. Um, you are being encouraged to, uh, to walk in the spiritual path that will lead you to your life partner. Um, this is all about going out on this journey and finding yourself as well as your spiritual partner. Um, I do see you doing that um, in the time of Sagittarius as well. Um, Capricorn females, you guys are healing from a broken heart. Uh, finally seeing the end of the road. Um, you also blocked a fire sign uh, because they were emotionally um abusive, emotionally toxic, and you are um, going to meet your life partner um, in the time of Sagittarius as well. All right, what's the outcome for Taurus today? Outcome 
for Virgo. And outcome for Capricorn. All right, nice. Capricorn, bottom of your guys' deck is judgment. Um, somebody's coming back for a second chance. Um, this is a reunion of some sort, whether it be in this lifetime or past lifetimes. But um, Taurus, you're being urged to follow your heart, to, um, to move out of this toxicity that you are currently in, and in turn, the Wheel of Fortune will turn in your favor. So follow your heart today and move forward. Um, Virgos, it's time for you to reach out and tell the truth to somebody. Um, you could have been holding back your feelings, your true feelings, um, out of fear of hurting somebody, but it's time to speak your truth and let no, somebody know you're either moving away from them or you're moving towards them uh, because there's a commitment waiting here for you. And Capricorn, so you guys have a brand new beginning. Da, 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 da. If you take it, if you walk in the spiritual path, if you find yourself and your soulmate um, while um, in the spiritual path and you choose love, the universe has something for you. It is a gift of abundance, a new beginning um, filled with more than enough uh, love and abundance in many areas, other things as well. All right, let's get an angel card for you guys today. Oh. All right. The card that fell on the ground is soulmate. So yes, you guys are dealing with a soulmate. Um, <clears throat> wow, and these two flipped in there. Okay, you guys are dealing with a soulmate. If you did not know that, you are. It's time to heal family issues. Most definitely, once you are able to heal the family issues, you will be able to come back together with your soulmate. And uh, this person is more than um, worth waiting for. This is divine timing. Divine timing is here, guys, that you're being called to walk into your spiritual path, all of you guys, um, because... It's worth the hard work. It's worth waiting for. Um, so take the time to heal, heal, heal. And um, you will be re reunited with your soulmate. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. I will see you tomorrow. God bless.